Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. how are you? Hey there, welcome. So let's see, but I'm sorry, but my, my computer was having a little update right now. So it took some minutes to start, but here we are, so don't worry. So let's see, welcome then, uh, Blanquita, Carlos, Christian, Ember, Maria Elena, uh, let me see, Karen, uh, Francis, uh, let me see, Oscar, and Denise. So welcome to, wait, your English class. All right. Okay, then, so there you go. Just give me one second here. All right. All righty then. So let me just take attendance for the first for the first time tonight. So good. Okay. So here we go, guys. All right. So same thing as always. I'm going to take attendance. And you pretty much uh, just uh, tell me your, uh, well, you say you're present and you take your uh, cam on. So here we go. Let's see. And here we go. All right, just one second. Here it is. So let's see. Okay. So, uh -huh. Tell me, I'm sorry. Paso lista. Ahorita, a pasar listo, vamos. Ah. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, here we go. So I'm sorry. As ahorita estoy viendo los mensajes eh, que dice por ahí Carlos Javier ponía. Eh, that is raining, right? So. Uh, don't worry, right? Don't worry if you're having problems with connection or with a connection. So don't worry, okay? That's that's fine. So you can join us whenever you want. In the case of Carlos Javier. So here we go. So let's see. So let's take attendance for the first time. So we have Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzmán. Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzmán. Ana Beatriz, not here. Ana Beatriz, one. Ana Beatriz, two. And Ana Beatriz, still not here. So let's see. Then we have Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Thank you very much, Blanquita. Very good. Then we have Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernandez. Present. Thank you very much, Carlos. Very good. Then we have Carlos Javier Crespin Lopez. Carlos Javier Crespin, one. Carlos Javier Crespin, two. Carlos Javier Crespin, three. Not here yet. All right. So then we have Cristian Ernesto Lazo Lopez. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much, Christian. Very good. Then we have a uh, Denise Grisel Brizuela Valdez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, uh, Grisel. Very good. Uh, then we have Ember Giovanni Polio Morales. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Ember. Very good. Uh, then we go with Francisca Elizabeth Martinez Gámez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Very good. Then we continue with uh, Jose Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Jose Eduardo one, Jose Eduardo two, Jose Eduardo not here. Very good. So then we have Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present. All right, thank you very much, Juan Carlos, very good. 
Then we have Luis Alonso Martinez Perez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Luis. Very good. Uh, then we have uh, Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Present teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Maria Elena. We wait. We wait. wait. We wait. This thing just updated. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Good evening. Right. Hey, Present good evening. Teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome. Thank so you. We have, all right. Nice. So we have Ana Beatriz. So welcome, eh, Beatriz. Eh, Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. So you're here. Let me see. Let me just eh, change this. Very good. Nice. So we continue with Karen Vanessa Morataya. Are you there? Present. All right. Thank you very much, Karen. Very good. We continue with, uh, let me see, Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Present teacher. All right. Thank you very much, Nelson. Very good. Uh, then we just continue with, um, let me see, Oscar Nulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Thank you very much, Oscar. Very good. And then we have Jenny Suleima Santos. Are you there? Jenny Suleima Santos. Not here, not yet. Teacher, no uh -huh. no. Uy, I'm sorry. Let's see. So let me see. Omar. Omar, let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Omar Francisco Hernandez. Yes. All right. There you go, Omar. Nice. I'm sorry for that. So there you go, Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. I'm sorry. There you go. Nice. Okay then, so very good, very good. So this is just the first time uh, we uh, take the attendance and that's it. So let me see. Uh, well, the other day, well, yesterday we were talking a little bit about um, giving directions. Uh, we were talking a little bit about how to get some places. We were uh, talking about how to get some places uh, we were like uh, taking into consideration when we were just at a specific spot and then we were just saying like how to get to one place to another uh, depending on how to say some structures in english so let's see so let me see before we continue uh, with the let me see uh, wait. Before we continue with these uh, topics that we have for today, or with the topics that we have for today, uh, we're going to check on some of the vocabulary that we used yesterday, and that was giving directions, right? So if you remember, we were uh, like checking on some of the maps, we're checking on some of the uh, maps on how to reach this place or another based on one, uh, like on a specific spot in the map. So let's see. So I have a video in which we're going to give some directions or which we're going to review some of the directions or vocabulary that we were just studying yesterday. So let's see. So here we go. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to share uh, here some of the, well, some of the vocabulary we checked out uh, yesterday. So here we go. Let's see. All right. There you go. 
So let's review this video and then we will talk a little bit about this. So here we go. So let me know once you can see my screen. Let's see. Here it is. Okay, so here we go. Let's share a, let's watch this video. And then uh, we review some of the vocabulary we reviewed yesterday about uh, giving directions, all right? So let's see. So we wait, wait, it got stuck. We said, oh, wait, just give me one second here. Okay, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna play the video. So you watch first, and then we talk a little bit about the giving directions. Here we go. On the road. Intersection. Traffic lights. Left. Straight. Right. Places around. Stadium. School. Bus stop. Subway. Bank. Park. Directions. Where is the stadium? It's on Maple Street. How do I get to the stadium? Go straight and turn right at the intersection. After you turn right, walk down Maple Street. The stadium is opposite the bus stop. Where is the bank? It's on Main Street next to the restaurant. Prepositions of place. Where is? It's in. Where is? It's on. Where is? It's next to. Where is? It's opposite. Imperatives. Turn left. Go straight. Turn right. How do I get there? Go straight on Main Street. How do I get there? Turn right at the intersection. How do I get there? Turn left at the intersection. Hey, no, there you go. All right. 
So there you go, uh, just a little review on some of the vocabulary that we were uh, uh, that we used yesterday to provide some directions, right? Yesterday we were uh, reviewing some uh, of this vocabulary to provide how to reach to one place, uh, how to give directions at some places at, at work, et cetera, et cetera, right? So very good, nice. So let me see here, all right, let's see, nice. Let me just share my screen and let's continue on some of the topics that we were studying yesterday. Let's see. Wait, my laptop is a little bit slow today so let's see let's give it one let's give it some minutes okay here we go all right so as we were studying yesterday uh, we were like just checking some vocabulary on how to get to different places on the same company on the same building or just how to get to some places in the same city right as you can see, we used some of the vocabulary we already checked in the video. And then we had a, some, a, let me see, vocabulary here on directions and instructions. So let's continue checking something a little bit about that. So here we go. All right. Also, we were checking on some material related to safety and some vocabulary related to safety. We were also checking on some uh, like uh, vocabulary we use in terms of equipment uh, related to what we used there uh, in terms of safety equipment, right? So here we go. All right, so if you check, let me see, page in your book, page 25, there you're going to have some uh, questions, right? And then you're going to have a little uh, conversation there. So I'm gonna share my screen. So let's see. So here we go. All right, so this is the next thing we have in terms of uh, the converse, uh, well, the topics or the, the, yeah, pretty much the topics of the grammar uh, section in the book. And here we have another conversation. So it says, uh, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with a partner. So it says, uh, we have Sandra and Mr. Sia. So, Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with a new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it's not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse and also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You're right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. So there you go. So here we have a, this little conversation about something that happened with this, a, with this um, let's say, employee, which seems it was doing something that it was not allowed. What was he doing according to the conversation? What was he doing that it is not actually allowed? Any ideas? Algo que no se puede hacer. Exactly. Aha, uh -huh. algo que no se puede hacer. There you go. So, um, algo que estaba mal, que no se puede hacer. ¿Qué era eso que no se puede hacer? in working hours that he was doing. Use the cell phone. Using the cell phone, that's one. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, sleep in work hours. 
Sleeping in work hours. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. What else? Había otra cosa también por ahí. Smoking inside. Excellent. Smoking. Was right? smoking in working hours. So, mm -mm, no way, Jose. We cannot do that, right? So, that is not allowed. The meaning of not allowed, no está permitido, right? So, it is not allowed, at least not in working hours. And then we have a, some questions. It says, better work, discuss the following questions. What are some rules in Sandra's company? What's the problem with the new employee? And are these rules similar to your companies? How, right? The last question, it makes reference to your own company. Do you have some similar rules? Do you have some other rules that are similar to this one in which that are mentioned in the conversation. So let's see. We're going to discuss these questions and we are going to, let me see. We're going to have this little discussion about this conversation or about these rules. So here we go. We're going to work in pairs to discuss about some of the rules, some things that are allowed or that are not allowed at all in your uh, workplace. So we're going to work in pairs. So we have pair number one, Luis and Nelson. That's one. Number two, uh, Ana Beatriz and Denise Grisel. That's a uh, pair number two. Christian Lasso and Karen Vanessa, Blanca Elizabeth and Ember. Wait, 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 wait. Here we have, let me modify a little bit this group so that we have a Christian, I guess it's just a listener right now. So we have Karen and Oscar in the same group. Christian, Karen and Oscar. Then we have Blanquita and Ember. And then we have Francis and Juan Carlos. Very good. Maria Elena and Omar. And we have, let me see. Um, wait. We also have uh, Carlos Antonio. So Carlos Antonio, Marilena, and Omar, you're in the same uh, group as well. So we're going to discuss about these questions that we have in this page, right? The one I'm showing. Uh, you're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to give you just like, let's say six minutes to talk about these questions. And then we're going to come back and then you're, we're going to share some thoughts about these questions that we are sharing here. So let's see then. And I'm going to open the small rooms and I'm going to uh, uh, also join a Francis to group number one. So there you go. So Elizabeth, you're going to work with group number one. Luis and Nelson, okay? Just to give you the heads up there, you can join the, uh, the small rooms. You just Teacher. have one. Uh -huh. Tell me. Yo, yo me acabo de, de, yo estoy dos veces, <laughs> pero acabo de entrar porque es que necesitaba tomar una captura de pantalla. Nice, Elizabeth. Este le agregué al grupo número uno. Número uno. uno. Sí, con Solo Luis y Nelson. <laughs> yes, ahí estamos. <laughs> El grupo número okay, uno. Teacher. Nice, Elizabeth. Okay, so Thank let's discuss about these three questions. Okay, nice. So you can join the breakout rooms now. Good. Six minutes and then we come back to the main session. Okay, teacher. Nice.
Hey, Jenny, are you there? Can you hear me? Jenny? Hello, hello, Jenny? Jenny, let me know if you can hear me. I added you to room number two anyway, to Ana Beatriz and Grisel. So you can join that group. We're discussing some questions, the ones that I'm showing in the screen right now. Just let me know that you can hear me.
All right, so here we are getting all together. Let's just wait for the rest. Let's just wait a few seconds for the rest of the people here. And then we start checking, let's see. Teacher. Aha, uh -huh. tell me. Uh, what is the correct pronunciation of procedures? Procedures, procedures. Como, como? Uh, procedures. I guess you mean this word over here. I'm going to write it. This word, like this. Yes. Procedures. Procedures. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Anytime, uh, Ember. Let's see. Pro. C. Procedures, something like this, procedures, right? Procedures, something like this in terms of pronunciation, procedures. So there you go. All right, nice. So I guess we are all right now here. Now we are all here, nice, good. So here we go. So volunteers, what are some rules in Sandra's company according to this conversation? What are some of Sandra's uh, rules? What do you think? According to what you checked in this conversation, what are some rules in Sandra's company? It's not a lot of smoking inside the company. Very good. It's not allowed smoking. Uh -huh. Nice. Don't sleep. The company. Don't sleep in work hours. <laughs> Definitely. Don't, uh, it's not allowed to sleep in work hours. Very good. It's That's bad nice. company, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely not something we should do, right? I work in hours. So no, don't get sleep. For very good. Nice. <laughs> nice, Ellie. Very good. It's bad. But it's bad. <laughs> it's, they're going to kick you out, right? <laughs> so yeah, not something good to do. What else? <laughs> what else? Any other rule over there? So not smoking or sleeping. Not allowed to use the cell phone. Not allowed to use the cell phone. Very good. So there you go. So not allowed to uh, use the cell phone. There you go. So these are the three rules that we get from this conversation. Not allowed to uh, smoke. Not allowed to sleep in working hours and not allowed to use your cell phone, right? Nice. Then we Sir. have, uh -huh. tell me, Ellie. Sir, can you, can you read the conversation again? One more for time? Pronunciation? Yeah, one more time for, sure. for, for the pronunciation. Yes, let's see. So the conversation should be, uh, we have Sandra, and Mr. Sia. So we start. Good morning, Mr. Sia. Uh, I want to know about the procedures with a new employee. Well, he cannot continue with I us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values mm -hmm. of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, uh, it is not allowed, wait, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You're right, it is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. So there you go, the conversation. Thank you, teacher. Anytime, Ellie. All right, so here we have, what's the problem with a new employee? What happened with a new employee according to the conversation? Me, teacher. Uh-huh. 
he um, he is smoking inside the company. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. He it seems that he was caught smoking inside the company during working hours. Did what else? It seems that something else happened. Parece que era una fichita este muchacho. So, not just smoking. ¿Qué más pasó con él? What else happened with him? To use a cell phone in work, alright? He was using his cell phone during working hours. Aha. Uh -huh. What else? And he was? Sleeping at work. Sleeping at work. Exactly. So... Uh, he was the whole package, right? Era el paquete completo, el muchacho. So he was smoking, he was sleeping, and he was also using the cell phone in working hours. Le valía la vida, right? So there you go. That was the problem with this guy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so have you ever seen this at work have you ever seen these problems at work in your company with probably younger people have you ever seen this han visto ese tipo de problema con chicos en el trabajo probablemente más jóvenes yes no maybe yes y más y use yes. the cell phones uh -huh. they are using their uh, cell phones. Uh -huh. What else? So this is a very, well, this is a very common problem, right? Uh, many people, especially young people, uh, they are addicted to social networks, their cell phones, etc., etc. So they are like really into that, right? So no matter if they are working, they know that they are like paying too much attention to their cell phones. So there you go, right? So problema común entre los millennials, as they say, right? Well, we are all, probably most of us, we are millennials, but still it's a problem that affects many people nowadays. All right. And then we have the third question. It says, are these rules similar to your companies? How are these rules similar to your companies? Volunteer. Uh -huh. Any volunteer over there? Me teacher, Carlos, Carlos Escobar. Uh -huh. Let's see, Carlos. In, me, in my case, uh, yes, it's similar, the rules. Mm -hmm. The rules. Yes, the rules. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Other rules uh, for for my company is be no drinking, be punctual, <laughs> be punctual, very good. Be punctual. Uh -huh. be punctual. Use, the, use the mass face. The what? Use the mass face. The face mask, right? Yes. The face mask. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Very good. Use a face mask. This is something that it should be very important at work nowadays, right? We all should wear a face mark, a mask, right? Very mm -hmm. good, nice. Any other rule that is important in your company, Carlos? Wear industrial boots. Industrial boots, uh, industrial boots. boots, right? Which is part of the equipment that uh, in some companies we should wear, right? Yes. All right, very good. Any other rule over there? Mm, I have, yeah, but uh, only that. <laughs> About the most important, right? Okay, very good. Nice, Carla. Uh -huh, let's see, Ellie. This moment, maybe the distance in the people. Ah, people. very good. Exactly. So, there we have this important uh, term that sometimes we forget about it right and that is thank you social distance right social this wait social distance social distance eh, eh, bueno some people call it susana distancia right so in mexico they call it like that and it's what that distance that you have among your co-workers so 
to respect at least two meters or one meter and uh, one meter and a half to not be like hugging a person or to be like really close to a person so it's like something different right so it's like to respect that mm -hmm. social distance a uh, distancia social right as we would call it in spanish and this is very important nowadays very good teacher i want uh -huh. to i want to teacher i want to always yeah. Uh, I want to work with. Uh, man, social distance. <laughs> you want to keep <laughs> social distance. You want to keep social for me, distance. For me, social distance. Always. <laughs> Always. 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 <laughs> All the time. So it's not, it, that's out of the question. So for you, that's something very important. So no matter if we are in pandemic or not. Yes, teacher. <laughs> nice, very good. So there this, you go. This social distancing is important today, tomorrow, always. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know, right? With this pandemic, with COVID-19, we don't know. So uh, this is something that I guess it's going to be really important today, tomorrow, and maybe for some years to come, right? No sabemos cuánto si solo este año, el año próximo, we don't know, but social distance, it's going to be something really important, right? So very good. Uh -huh. In my case, I don't like is the, the person, how do you say abrazos? Hugs, uh -huh. hugs. hugs. I, I don't like my friend. <laughs> That's something you know. I am cool. I am cool. Hey, qué mala onda. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, no, yeah. Teacher, so, you don't know, like hugs. No, I, I don't like in the frame. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not like a very uh, like touchy person, like someone who is hugging or very. Um, I don't know, like, um, I don't know, like a person that keeps this uh, physical uh, interaction with people. I'm not that kind of person either. Uh, so I'm cool, right? I'm cool with social distance. For me, that's better, right? Uh, for me, that's something that we should keep, even if we are not in a pandemic, right? That's something that we should keep at work. In that case, we prevent many illnesses like, uh, like the flu or any other like uh, illnesses that are that are actually caused because of social interactions. So I agree with you, Ellie. <laughs> Definitivamente, Ellie. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. So good. Any other rules? And uh, volunteer, right? Any other rules that you have at your company? Something that is not allowed that maybe we haven't mentioned before. Alguna otra regla que no hemos mencionado que es mm. not allowed. Uh -huh. In my company, teacher, John cannot use the cell phone in the cafeteria. In the cafeteria. No use, the cafeteria. No uh -huh. use the lotion and makeup uh, accessories. Oh, really? So you cannot use like. A body lotion, uh, makeup for, for girls. Products. Uh, it's for fruits. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Watching is, is so that's is, a no no. Uh -huh. No, no. No, for you, that's like in your company, that's not allowed. Yes. Wow, that's good. Okay. Uh, where do you work? What's uh, what's your company? Uh, what's your company's name, uh, Beatriz? Mm -hmm. McCormick. Oh, McCormick. Yeah, true. So definitely, right? It's about like edible products. Yes. So no way, Jose, right? We cannot use makeup or uh, mm, any sure. other thing that can con uh, like, um, yeah. I don't know, contaminate probably the, 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 the quality or that can compromise the quality of the products. So <laughs> definitely no makeup, no nothing, right? understandable yes. very good all right nice any other rule volunteer in your companies that 
or something that is not allowed. My company, uh -huh. Maria Lynn, use institutional clothes. Institutional clothes, like a uniform? No, like a uniform. Uh -huh. um, it's not the same. Not so, the same. Like, what do you not mean? The then? Same. Uh -huh. um, some shirts, uh, other polo, other uh -huh. cats, uh, whatever. Like, like uh, like so special equipment, uh -huh. a vest, chaleco, chaleco a vest, uh -huh. vest, vest. vest. We say in vest in. No hay un día específico. Se puede usar la que quiera, pero tiene que ser una. Es que no sé cómo se dice. Uh, but it's gotta be like something uh, specifically for the work. It needs to comply with the rules. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get, I got it. All right. So yeah, chaleco, right? What we know as chaleco, that's a vest in in, in, in English, right? Vest with a V. Yes. Uh, do not confuse the pronunciation with vest, which is a uh, el mejor. With a v. Uh -huh. I, I know that uh, this is something that we have some problems sometimes because in Spanish. Uh, we don't make a distinction sometimes between the sounds. We say la vaca, right? Vaca. Mm -hmm. We don't say like, uh, if we cannot tell if it's a V or a B. Uh, si es V o es B, pronunciamos el sonido igual, no? Vaca. So mm -hmm. in English, we should make uh, the distinction of this sound. De hecho, cuando yo estudiaba inglés, tenía este problema con la V y la B. Me acuerdo de un teacher que en aquellos tiempos, o ya no, o ya no, o ya no se puede, casi que me abrió la, 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 la boca así con las manos, ¿verdad? Y me dijo, no, no, no es best, ¿verdad? Es best, best, right? El sonido de la V eh, en inglés eh, es con, con la boca cerrada, right? Esa es la diferencia, por ejemplo, cuando decimos voice. Le voy a poner this example. Voice. My mm. voice is eh, strong. My voice is strong. And my... Then we have these two pronunciations, right? Eh, we have these two examples. My voice is strong voice voice no. right voice la boca el, el, el sonido de esta de la v en inglés es cerrado con la boca casi cerrada voice voice no. voice y tenemos la, la otra palabra que es voice que es como más abierta my voice my boys my boys are Good at English. So imagine, imagine yo digo, my voice is strong. Peligroso, ¿verdad? Digo ahí una, una cosa que no es. Este, por la pronunciación. So, ah, uh -uh, right. Eh, la importancia de... Dígalo. <laughs> <Bueno, laughs> <we're> <laughs> Peligroso. Es que sí, solo es una pronunciación nada más errónea. Cositas del, del idioma. Puedo terminar diciendo algo que nada que ver. So, my voice, voice, right? Mi voz. My voice, mi muchacho, vea, mi, mi chico. Pero vea, refiriéndome a mis hijos o a algo así. Eh, my boys are good at English, right? Mis muchachos son buenos para el inglés. Eh, <laughs> pero imagínense, yo digo, my boys <laughs> is strong. Mm, no, vea. <laughs> so maybe my not. <laughs> ya vio que lo digo. <laughs> ah, caray. <laughs> ejemplo. Sorry, teacher. Ejemplo. Ajá, let's see. Yes. I'm sorry, yeah. teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, the assistance. Oh, the attendance, yeah, the attendance. The assistance. Yes, no worries. So let's see. So, goody, goody. 
let's say it's nine o'clock. So yeah, thank you very much, Nelson, my, my timekeeper, right? Good. So let's see. Antes de que continuemos, let me take the attendance here. So we wait, wait. Let me see. Here we go. Let me stop sharing for a second. And here we go. All right, so we're, I'm going to take the attendance one more time. It's nine o'clock. So here we go. So remember, you just say present. And if, if, well, try to turn on your camera, right, for this one. So here we go. So, Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much, Beatriz. Then we have Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Blanquita. Very good. Then we have Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you very much, Carlos. Then we have Carlos Javier Crespin. Carlos Javier Crespin, not here. All right. So we continue with Christian Ernesto Lazo Lopez. Flores, teacher, present. Oh, okay, there you go. Thank you very much, Christian. Very good. So we continue <laughs> with Denise Grisel Brizuela Valdez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, uh, Grisel. Very good. Then we continue with Ember Giovanni Polio Morales. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Ember. Then we go uh, Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Ellie. And then we continue with Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. Jose Eduardo, not here. Okay, not here, Jose Eduardo. So we continue with Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Good. Then we, we continue with Karen Vanessa Morataya Rodriguez. Present. Thank you very much, Karen. Good. We continue with Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Luis. Uh, we continue with Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Present. Thank you very much, Maria Elena. Uh, we continue with Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Nelson. Uh, we continue with Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. All right, thank you very much, Omar. Uh, we continue with Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Thank you very much, Oscar. And last but not least, Jenny Suleyma Santos. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much, Jenny. Nice. All right, so goody goody. So here we have this expression as we were mentioning, let me share it here. It is not allowed, right? So it is not allowed. So when do we use this expression? Whenever we have a prohibition, right? Something that we cannot do, something that is what we say, a don't or a no-no, something that we cannot do at any specific circumstance. So it is not allowed to smoke at work, for example. It is not allowed to smoke at work. So in this case, we have this prohibition. So we say, mm -mm, no way, Jose, right? We cannot do this. So we use this expression as part of a rule or as part of some rules or guidelines that we need to follow at work. So good. Here we have, now, here we have this um, exercise, well, this video here about some do's and don'ts in the workplace. Do you know what, what's the meaning of do's and don'ts? Any ideas? 
do's and don'ts. So we have do's and don'ts. What's that? What are do's and don'ts? Any idea about that? Maybe like that you can and lo que puedes y no puedes hacer. Exactly, bingo, right? So this is strictly related to the uh, code, right? To you, the code uh, that you follow at work, what you can do and what you can't do, right? So we have do's and don'ts. Do's is like what you can do and don'ts is what you shouldn't, right? It's what like we say, no, don't do that. So I have a little video about do's and don'ts at work that is in here in the book. So let me see, let me share it with you. I, wait, no, 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 it's not this. So let me share it one more time. This is the one, I guess. All right, so here we go. So here we have the do's and don'ts in a professional workplace. So let's pay attention to the video and then we discuss a little bit about this, about things that we can do or things what we shouldn't do at work. So here we go. Listen and check for these experiences at work. So here we go. The do's and don'ts in a professional workplace. Starting your first position in your chosen field of study could cause anyone to be nervous. Here are some tips to help you get over your nerves and help you through your first day. Do's in a professional workplace. Do dress appropriately. Adopt similar formal or informal attire for the area in which you are working. Appropriate attire can change according to the task that needs to be performed, so be prepared. If the attire you should be wearing is unclear, ask your boss what is appropriate. In general, overdressed is better than underdressed. Do be punctual. Being punctual makes you a reliable employee. It will also give you a few minutes to prepare your day. Grab a cup of coffee, set your station, and check your work email. When you have a scheduled meeting, be punctual. You should be organized and ready to begin at the scheduled time. Early is better than late. Do maintain good communication. If you're struggling with the moral dilemma or conflict of interest, inform your boss or faculty co-op advisor. Ask for help as soon as you are sure you need it. Do not wait until the last minute, but also do not ask for help at every juncture. Research the subject you are concerned about to ensure you have a clear understanding of the situation. Do stay motivated. Try to maintain a steady workload. If you are running low on work, inform your boss that you expect to finish the assigned tasks early. This will give them the message that you are done positively. Do be respectful and courteous to fellow coworkers. Maintain an appropriate voice level. If you listen to music at work, remember you are in a confined area. Refrain from inappropriate language. There will always be someone you don't get along with, regardless of where you work. Do appreciate the chain of command. Try to work through differences with a coworker before going to your boss. If you encounter a problem, let your boss or the coworker you're working with know. Don'ts in a professional workplace. Don't arrive unprepared. Make sure you get enough sleep before showing up to work. Falling asleep at work shows that you are unprepared and it is an insult to your employer. Don't participate in inappropriate conversations. Gossiping about coworkers and making racial or sexual jokes is inappropriate. Don't engage in non-work related activities. Non-work related activities that should be avoided are making personal calls or texting, browsing personal interests on the internet, or doing homework while at work. 
All employers understand that emergencies occur, but don't abuse the system. These are only a few do's and don'ts in a professional workplace. These will not be able to help you through every instance, and when those situations occur, consult your boss, co-workers, friends, or professors on how to proceed. Do's and don'ts in a professional workplace. Do's. Dress appropriately. Be punctual. Maintain good communication. Stay motivated. Be respectful and courteous to fellow co-workers. Appreciate the chain of command. Don'ts. Arrive unprepared. Participate in inappropriate conversations. Engage in non-work-related activities. There you go. So do you agree with this video about the do's and don'ts in a professional workplace? Yes, no, or why? Any ideas about this video? Some points that you agree with or not that much? What, are, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Uh, maybe uh -huh. um, the, plane, uh, the girl explains in the work what uh, do you do in mm -hmm. what don't do mm -hmm. in this case in the class we use not allowed we're not allowed uh-huh allowed what are some of the things that mm, are not allowed or that we shouldn't do? Mm, we are not allowed. I uh, smoked, maybe. Smoked, uh-huh. Very good. What else? Mm, arrive later. To arrive late at work, uh -huh. at so work. we should be punctual, very good. What else? Um, eat in the office. Eating in the office or in the in the workstation, in, right? In the so, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly, very good. So we shouldn't do that. Uh -huh. That's a no-no, as we would say. Uh -huh. What else? And I don't know, how do you say? Mm, I no sé cómo se dice, pero Ajá. nosotros tenemos una política de género donde tiene que usarse siempre el lenguaje apropiado. Mm, like what? Like what, for example? Mm, no pueden tirar piropos. <laughs> pero no oh, se puede. Okay. Ah, ah, no se puede. Eso no se puede. Es prohibido. No puede. <laughs> okay, so that's out of the question. Y eso, eso no se puede. Oh, <laughs> no se puede. okay. So no flattering, no saying something like that. Uh -uh, right? So no. Yes. Oh, nice. But that's yes. good, I would say. Not, uh -huh. not the lowest. All right. Very good. Nice. Nice. Nice, Marilena. Any other opinions? Do you agree or maybe disagree with the video. Any other opinion? Or something that you would like to add based on what you do at work, based on your do's and don'ts at work. Wear a formal dress. Oh, very important, right? So wear formal, uh, well, like a, a formal code, a dress code, right? In which you will have to wear like a uniform or something like that, uh, but you cannot go casual, right? You cannot wear a t-shirt, for example, or tennis, right? You need to wear the appropriate uh, um, like clothing, depending on the what, what you do, right, at work, depending on your position. So very good. Nice one, Carlos. Any other one, do's or don'ts that you have at work? Do stay motivated? Stay motivated. There you go. Right. It's like keep the right uh, attitude, right? Stay positive. Exactly. So very good. Nice, Oscar. Very good. Something else. Do's or don'ts that you have at work. Uh, 
Don't participate on appropriate conversation. Uh, conversation. What would be an inappropriate conversation? What's an example of that, Oscar? Maybe when they say or when they use the language not inappropriate for the moment. Inappropriate um, language, uh huh. Or then use uh, expression during or more or less. <laughs> okay, yeah, something like that, right? Inappropriate language, or oh, you're trashing about someone. Están ahí hablando del jefe, right? So no, right? Don't participate in those conversations. It's not appropriate. So trashing about someone, that's also that we shouldn't do, right? That is trashing about a uh, trashing about someone. That it that means to talk, right? To talk about someone in a bad or in a despective way, right? So no, that's a, not a nice conversation we should take part of at work, right? So, mm -mm. so whenever you hear that, don't pay attention to that. You say, no, no, that's not my thing, right? So you say, not for me, right? So very good. All right. So those are just some do's and don'ts, right? Good practices and not so good practices that we might find at work. So let's see. So there you go, nice. Now, there you have, well, based on this topic that we're talking about, here we have some, uh, let me share my screen so that we can all see it. And here we go, here. So in the following page, we have this, how to use it's not allowed, right? And it says, use it's not allowed to talk about prohibitions. As I was telling you, this is an expression that we use to talk about things that we shouldn't do or that we don't have to do. So it's a prohibition, something that is not allowed. So uh, to talk about prohibitions that we have in a particular, in a particular place. So we have, then we have some examples. It is not allowed, as we have said before, to smoke inside the facilities. It's not allowed to use cell phones. What else? It's not allowed to take tools home, right? So don't take any tools that you're using at work. Don't take them home, right? So you just use it there. It's not allowed to sleep in working hours, definitely. A, not something we should do. And it's not allowed to drink alcoholic beverages, right? Like whatever alcoholic beverage uh, you can think of. Uh, uh, I don't think that's something that is allowed in any company. And the last one, it's not allowed to run in any area of the company. So you cannot run in the production area, for example, since it might be dangerous for you or for some other people, right? So it is a no, no, or a don't. All right. Now, here we have uh, some exercises like, well, here we have like, like a little exercise uh, that is in pairs in which you have. Get in person, discuss the rules you both have in your workplace. So what are you going to do? I want you to think about some of the rules that Definitely, you cannot do at work, and I want you to list them. So at least to list five things that you cannot do or there are don'ts in your company. So I'm going to give you just like, let's say, seven minutes, seven, eight minutes to talk about that with a partner. Uh, you're going to talk about don'ts, as we have been studying, do's and don'ts. You're going to talk about don'ts in your company, things that you cannot do, things that are not allowed in your company. So you're going to share this information with your classmate. You're going to work 
let's do the same groups that you were uh, working before, right? And you're going to share part of the, let's say the code that you have at work. And you're going to share some of the things that you cannot do, right? I'm going to give you from seven to eight minutes. Then we come back to the main session and we're going to share some of these things that we cannot do. Some of the don'ts that we have at work specifically in your company. So think about uh, the use of proper equipment, the use of some of the rules or specific rules according to your area, et cetera, et cetera, right? So here we go. I'm opening the small room so that you can talk with your partners. And after seven, eight minutes, we come back and then we share some opinions about don'ts in our company. So um, you can join. Uh -huh. I, um, yeah, I have a question. Yes, in go ahead. The, in the rules, always uh, use it is not allowed. Yes, Always. exactly. We can say, or we start with the expression, at my company, it is not allowed. And then you mentioned something. It's not allowed to run in the production area. It is not allowed to enter the production area without the proper equipment, etc., etc. So, yes. Okay. Nice, Marilena. Excellent. So, I opened the uh, small sessions right now. So you can just join the breakout rooms and then I'll see you here in the main session after seven to eight minutes so that we can talk a little bit about this. So there you go. You can join now the small rooms. Blanquita, you're working with Oscar, all right? So you can join uh, Oscar in the conversation. Okay, teacher. Nice, okay. Uh, let me see, Elizabeth, are you having problems to connect? With, uh, with your group, with your partner, with Nelson? Teacher, a mí me sacó. La sacó, let me see. Sí. Um, let's see. Let me check one more time. Uh, intente otra vez, Blanquita. Ah, oh, okay, we'll see. Teacher, we'll be otra vez. Okay, okay, let's see. Bueno, solo okay. vamos a contestar las preguntas, la, eh, esta, lo de yes. prohibido del trabajo. Eso, lo voy exacto. a hacer yo. Nice, yes. Creo que me está sacando. Y no le dejó entrar a, y a trabajar con Oscar. No, ni el grupo 2 ni el 4 no. me dejaron entrar. Jesus Christ, ok. Que aquí me quedaré mejor. Ok, nice, no, don't worry. Okay. That's ok, Blanquita. Ok. Así está bien, don't worry. All right.
right, so here we go. We are just coming back, I guess. Let's wait for the rest. Let's see. All right, so they're going to be here in some seconds. So let's, let's just wait for the rest of the people. Nice. And well, I guess we are all, most of us are all, uh, are here already. So let's see, let's see. So what about in your case? Let me see, Jenny, some of the rules uh, or some of the things that uh, you cannot do at your workplace. What can you tell us about it, Jenny? Hi, teacher. In my company, it's not allowed to raise allowed? their voice. It's not allowed to raise your voice. Allowed uh -huh. to raise the voice. Nice. Uh, use bad words. Like, um, like um, bad expressions. Let's say bad like expressions. plain language. Uh huh. Nice. Cursing not allowed. Uh huh. Wear informal dress. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh, listen music at a too low, too low. Alta? Like in a high volume or with a high volume? High. Mm -hmm. Or too loud? Well, creo que se dice así. It's not at, con se pronuncia allowed. Allowed, allowed. Allowed, allowed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's not allowed personal relationship. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. In uh, use sandals. Oh, nice. So you, you cannot wear uh, sandals or flip flops at work, and you cannot have formal, like formal uh, shoes. And you cannot have like a personal relationship with someone. Like if you have uh, some romantic interest with someone, no, no, not allowed. No. Oh my God. It's allowed. <laughs> okay, nice. Very strict. There you go. Okay, nice, Jenny. Thank you very much. Very good. Jenny, you select another person. Uh, Blanca. Blanquita. Let's see. What about in your case, Blanquita? What are some things that are not allowed at work? Makeup. Makeup. Uh -huh. Makeup is not allowed in my area. Uh, all right. Eighteen is not allowed during work. Horas. What? I'm sorry? Horas. Hours? Or, hours. Hours. Uh -huh. yeah. hours. <laughs> there you go. Hours. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you see uh, acrylic. In painting, nails are are not allowed. Not allowed either. Not uh -huh. allowed. <laughs> okay, nice. The use of telephone is not allowed. The use of cell phones or telephones not allowed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It is not allowed to to remove the move. The move. The move. The what? The move. How do you say the move? The move. The more protecting uh -huh. equipment in the world in the, in the area. To remove like the equipment? Uh -huh. Equi work? Equipment. Ah, okay, there <laughs> you go. Uh -huh. the nice. Skipping work procedure is not allowed with GitHub. <laughs> without any, without authorization or previous authorization. <laughs> All right, nice, very good, Lakita, nice. All right, you select another person. Uh -huh. Blanquita, you select another uh, classmate. Oh, okay. Oscar, let's see, Oscar, some don'ts at work or some rules that you need to follow at work. 
In my company, don't go to the cafeteria in, in, in hours work. Working hours, right? Working don't hours. go to the cafeteria in working hours. Uh -huh. Don't eat in the desk. Uh -huh. Don't eat in the workplace or the desk. Uh -huh. Yes, and don't use the personal cell phone. Oh, uh -huh. so you're not allowed to call or send text messages during work. Only, only the company cell phone. Oh, I see. All right. Very good. Nice, Oscar. So, uh, uh, huh? yes. And don't yeah. shut out. And don't? Shut out. Gritar. Oh, don't, yeah. Don't scream or don't raise your voice, right? Don't shut out. Very good. All right. Okay, only this. good. Nice, Oscar. You select another person now. Vamos con Don Luis. All right. Ahí. Nice. Luis, Luis, are you there? Yeah, I have not heard Luis. Luis? Estamos, no estamos. Y creo que no escucharemos tampoco. Pero le, yo vi que mandó un mensaje a alguien. Ah, really? ¿Cómo está? Andaba bailando. Ver. Sorry, fue... teacher, I don't have electric energy. <laughs> Se fue de parranda. Let me see. Ah, yes, true. Y yo hasta un no, árbol le había hecho. Cierto, cierto. Y no, no parece que no tiene vale. electricidad. Yeah. Es martes y, y el cuerpo lo sabe de Luis. <ríe> no, mentira. Este, no tiene electricidad. So, perdón, creí que solo Ember me había enviado ese mensaje, pero no. Tampoco hello. Luis tiene electricidad. Hello, hello. Perdón, teacher, hasta ahorita me regresó la luz. Hasta ahorita puedo conectarme. <ríe> ok, Carlos, let's see. Aprovechemos, Carlos. So, some, eh, we're talking, Carlos, about things that we cannot do or rules that we need to follow at work? What are some do's and don'ts that we do at work? What are some rules that you follow or that you need to follow at your workplace? Oh, sorry. Re reglas que seguimos en el, en el trabajo, Carlos, that we are allowed or not allowed to. Mm -hmm. Reglas que us mm, okay. Quiero ver cómo sería usar el equipo de protección de seguridad. Ah, wear your, uh, well, your special equipment, right? Or your, uh, uh, wear your protection equipment. Uh -huh. So that's one. What and else? Second, and seconds, uh, quiero ver cómo sería utilizar el uniforme, pero... Creo como se dice. Ajá, uh, try. Eh, Use. Sería, using the uniform. Or Use, uniform. Very good. Use your uniform. Right? Use your uniform at work. It is not allowed to go with informal clothing. Very good. Something else, Carlos? Mm. Um, sería teamwork. Oh, all right. Work as a team, right? Or promote teamwork in the workplace. Very good. Nice. All right. Nice. Something else? Uh, quiero ver. <laughs> quiero ver. Permítame, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, don't worry, yeah. Es que me agarré improviste de un solo. Lo agarré en curva, ajá. Quiero ver. Sería, quiero ver, hora de entrada. Ajá. To be? Complete with our entrada. Time? Com uh, well, you can say a uh, start. 
Uh -huh. Start working on time, right? Or start work on time. On time, oh, okay. There you go, nice. Very good, Carlos, nice. So you select another person. Uh, repeat, please, teacher. Please. Uh, you select select another person to participate, Carlos. You choose. Ah, okay. Um, quiero ver. Denise Grisel. Grisel. Let's see some do's and don'ts at, at your workplace. Let's see, Grisel. Okay. Um, you don't sell nothing inside of the plant. Like, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that again? You not all of it sell nothing inside the plant. Oh, you cannot sell anything right inside the plant. Okay, you it's not anything. all of it right false information in the graphic. Ah, uh -huh. very good. Okay, that's very important. Uh huh. It is not all of it do work Allowed? if you don't certificate for this activity. Ah, uh -huh. so if you are not certificated for that, or if you don't have a certification, mm, you cannot do- No, you can do it. Activity, oh, okay, very good. Something um, else? You don't know if drink alcoholic beverage. You're um, not allowed to drink alcoholic beverages. Uh -huh. You don't know it come late at work. You're not allowed to come in late. This, uh -huh. In specific, because the company uh, give nine uh -huh. minutes the after the the hours then you start work. Oh, nice! So they give if you, you like nine, start minutes. in one p.m. for example. Uh -huh. You can come late nine minutes more, but oh. if you arrive uh, one with ten minutes. Uh -huh. you, no, you're you got a pen. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> so okay. They, they call um, to talk to you. Uh -huh. it's, it's not all of it. Allowed. Talk in the, allowed, sorry. Allowed. It's uh -huh. not allowed to talk, talk in the break with other person. Oh, you cannot talk to other people no. during your break? In a specific after the pandemic. Ah, oh, I see. And, because of the pandemic. Yes. Ah, I got you. So you gotta go to work and not try not to talk to people, right? Face to face. In the break. Uh huh. In during the breaks. Yes. Okay. Nice. Something else, or that's it? Mm. No. Well, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Nice, Grisel. Thank you very much. So, Grisel, you select another one more person. Okay, um, I don't know. Can't fault. <laughs> you choose, and I'm gonna tell you yes or Nelson. no. Nelson. Nelson. All right, let's see. Nelson, some do's or don'ts at work. Hello. Hey, Nelson. Okay. Okay, it is not uh, drink alcohol and beer. Not allowed to drink alcoholic. If beverages or beers uh-huh yes it is it is not allowed smoking smoking not allowed smoking very good what else uh don't know we sexy clothes ah uh, what go away can you repeat that <laughs> <laughs> not allowed to fear uh, no for women yes all right <laughs> uh, okay very good <laughs> something it, else it is not it is not uh it is not allowing sleep during work or? Sleep to sleep during working hours. Uh huh. Very good. Very important. Yes. Uh huh. Something else. Uh, don't not eat uh, during. Okay. Don't not eat uh, during uh, work hours. Again, can you repeat that? Uh, no? Two. 
Don't knock it during work hours. Oh, no it is during the hours of work. Exactly. It is not allowed to eat. Why? Right? It is not allowed to eat during working hours. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, it is not allowed to eat. Use the copier for the personal things. Again, I'm sorry. It is not allowed to. Uh, it is. It is not allowed. Uh huh. You say the copier for personal things. No, I'm not sure if I'm understanding. Quería you. decir este uh -huh. no usar la no usar la copiadora para cosas personales. Ah, so you, it is not allowed to use the copying machine. For personal the copy uh, uh, machine, machine. yeah, machine for, make it okay. Or, or the printer, right? The printer or the copy machine for a personal oh, the printer. Stuff. Ah, the copy. There you go. Nice. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> very important too. Nice. Excellent, Nelson. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So this is how we pretty much uh, use this expression. Uh, it is allowed or it is not allowed, right? And we use it well, pretty much as we have seen to talk about things that we can do, things we cannot do at work, right? Especially whenever we follow a code or a specific, uh, well, code or guidelines at work. So nice. Okay, so I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Nelson. I'm going to take the attendance here for the last time. And let's see. All right. Hoy le tocaría quedarse los 10 minutos. Uh, Juan Carlos, ¿se, ¿se siente mejor? Yes. Oh, teacher, se la pusiera la otra. Eh, ok, nice. nice, nice, don't worry. So, entonces, cedemos el espacio a María Elena Peñate. ¿Podría, María Elena? Yes. Ok, excellent, María Elena, very good. All right, entonces, eh, bueno, tomamos asistencia. So, por última vez, so we have eh, Ana Beatriz Campos. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Beatriz eh, Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Blanquita. Eh, then we have Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you very much, Carlos. Eh, Carlos Javier Crespin. Present teacher. Thank you very much, eh, Carlos Javier. Eh, next, Christian Ernesto Lazo. Christian, not here. So we continue with Denise eh, Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Grisel. We continue with Ember Giovanni Polio. Oh, Ember, creo que, bueno, por ahí nos puso que se le fue la luz. So we continue with Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. We continue with Jose Eduardo Guzman. Jose Eduardo, not here. So we continue with uh, Juan Carlos Rivas, Jovel. I'm here. All right, thank you very much, Juan Carlos. We continue with Karen Vanessa Morataya. Karen Vanessa, not here, all right. We continue with Luis Alfonso Martinez. Bueno, Luis Alfonso, eh, creo que tuvo problemas también eh, no le, con el servicio eléctrico. No le ha la luz a don Luisito. No le regresó la luz, ok, nice. Seguimos entonces con María Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Present. Thank you very much, Maria Elena. Uh, we continue with Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Nelson. We continue with Omar Francisco Hernandez. 
Present. Thank you very much, Omar. Uh, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Thank you very much, Oscar. And Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. All right. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, guys. So we're going to stop right here. Uh, well, thank you very much for joining today's session. We're going to continue uh, tomorrow. So have a good night. Uh, well, get some rest and I'll see you guys tomorrito. So have a nice evening, guys. Good night tomorrow. All right. Good night, people. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye -bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, night guys. Night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Solo nos quedamos por ahí con María Elena. All right, nice. Excellent. Ok, María Elena. Estos, bueno, estos 10 minutitos que tenemos, eh, nada más, María Elena, para reforzar eh, cualquier, digamos, tema que haya quedado por ahí mmm, no tan claro, pues no necesariamente tiene que ser un tema de de esta bueno de este módulo puede ser un tema uh -huh. de, del módulo anterior alguna pregunta que o, 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 yo tengo una pregunta ah, a ver, a ver. <ríe> con referencia <ríe> sí, sí, a ver Mariana nice in the in the platform Ajá. Um, indication is eh, mm, for the expression is, is allowed, um, we, are, we uh, uh, all the students, students uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, say the pronouns. Uh -huh. And I, I don't know if the pronouns is different and in the expression o is the same y siempre se va, se va a decir it, it is not allowed uh -huh. mm, like if we can like change the pronoun or the subject of the sentence is that like what your yes. question is oriented yes. to yes because and in this case mm -hmm. in in all the in, in all the expression eh, it is, but mm, no sé de qué forma podría ser she o uh, we are. Ah, uh, I got Si you. eso got se you. puede cambiar el, el pronoun. We can, if we can change like the pronoun or the subject in these expressions, usually we would say it is not allowed as we were saying in the, in the class today. But I can also say, for example, She's not allowed to eat in class. Mm -hmm. I could say this as well, right? She's not allowed. Eh, a ella no se le permite, right, comer en clase. She's not allowed to eat in class. I can use the same expression with whatever subject I think convenient. So I can use she, he, etc., etc., they as I think convenient for the, for the idea that I want to transmit, right? So I can even say, Mary is not allowed to have some visits when she's, wait, wait, when she's, Working, right? Mary is not allowed to have some visits when she's working. So I can also say this, right? Uh, Mary no se le permite tener visitas cuando ella está trabajando. Cuando está trabajando. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I can say that too. Eh, a Mary no se le permite, right? El cambio de el sujeto en la oración. Y es posible, right? dependiendo del contexto, dependiendo de lo que yo quiera decir, se puede. Si yo quiero decir, no, le, no está permitido, ahí sí lo dejo con it. Sí, Entonces, sí. Ajá, si yo quiero ser específicamente, o si yo me quiero dirigir específicamente a que algo no está permitido, 
permit, perdón, permitido para alguien, eh, me puedo referir a esa persona con el sujeto correspondiente, ¿no? A Mary no se le permite, a ella no se le permite, a él, a ellos, etcétera, etcétera. Acá creo que hemos visto solo con eh, ejemplos en singular. It is not alone. Ajá. Ajá, exacto. Pero en hablar en español me cuesta. <risa> Don't worry. En, en la plataforma, eh, la indicación es esa, ¿verdad? Que leamos las oraciones Ajá. que com se complete usando eh, la forma de no allow. Eh, y que hay que poner atención a los pronombres. Yo ah, vi la ah, clase ah. antes para ver si los me salían, porque cuando tengo chance, <ríe> trato de avanzar, porque a veces no tengo Ah, tanto. chivo, chivo, no, perfecto, <ríe> excelente. Pero todas me salieron malas, entonces ¿Qué? fue ejemplo. Sí. Oh my sí. God. Pero entonces no sé, y esa era mi duda de, de, de si era como una trampita. <ríe> y ah. siempre tenía que poner iris. Porque, ya, por ejemplo, en, en una dice, you are not allowed um, to cheat on an exam. Que on an exam. Uno puede, que no puede cambiar, ¿verdad? Un exam. Ajá. 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 Me salió mala. Ajá. <ríe> y, ajá, entonces yo... Mmm... En esta, yo pondría, por ejemplo, you are not, right? You are... You not, not, you're not allowed uh -huh. to cheat on an exam. Uh -huh. So, ajá, exacto. Uh -huh, exacto. Así lo pondría yo. You're not allowed to cheat on an exam. So, no se te es permitido eh, copiar en un examen, por ejemplo, o hacer trampa, ¿no? Y eh, así lo puso. You're not allowed. Ah, pero tal vez ahí está el error. Puse toda la, toda, toda, toda la oración. Yeah. La ya, ya. Ah, ok. Creo que aquí en este caso solo tiene que complementar con lo que hace falta. Y entonces solo sería el you're not allowed. So, creo que no tendríamos que poner toda la oración para que lo tome como correcto. So, de ahí que solo, se, que solo vaya el you're not Allowed, right? Ajá. I am pro. A ver, pues pruebe ahorita y me, y me dice. Si no. Mm -mm, no. No, tampoco. no le dejó. Pero le voy a quitar el espacio. Ah. Ok. No. <risa> ah, ok. Jesus Christ. So let's sí, see. Así, así dejé, you are not allowed. Ajá. Y nada. Ni nada, no sale, no me sale bien. Veamos. O si te lo are not allowed. Bueno. Pero a mí sí me lo, me lo tomó como buena, ve. Eh, cuando yo pongo you are not allowed, escribió bien allowed, con doble L. Sí, con do... Ah, pero puse you. Debe ah, ser eso quizás entonces. Como puse el doble sujeto, eh, you, quizás no se lo puso, no se lo puso bueno. Solo sería... Por ejemplo, en la primera, you are mm. not allowed, right? Ah, pues ya sé por qué no me salían bien. Ajá, I see. Ya. Ah, sí, nice. Ya. Hoy sí, vea, por ahí va sí. la cosa. <ríe> nice. Y... Ajá. Es que como normalmente cuando son las de completar, ponemos, se vuelve a poner la, la oración. Sí, completa. es cierto, se vuelve a poner todo. En, en este caso, para esta tarea específicamente, sí, sí. Es solo el, el pedacito que le falta, ¿verdad? You're not allowed. Y depende eh, cómo vamos a ocupar eh, de acuerdo al sujeto, ¿no? La primera, por ejemplo, you. En la segunda, como es he, ahí tendríamos que usar. He's, Ajá, exacto. He's not. not but, um, or he is. Is am. Um, Ajá, exacto. En la cuarta es all boss is as. No, our boss sería he or she. Ah, sí, porque es él, vamos. Ajá, podría ser él o ella. Él o ella. Ajá. Y the provider is, it is not allowed. Ajá, is not allowed. Ajá, exactly. Exacto, right. Aquí eh, modificamos o vamos a modificar la frase. 
are or is not allowed, right? Dependiendo si el sujeto es plural o si el sujeto okay, es sujeto singular. Es Exacto. There you go. Y no tenemos que escribirlo todo, sino que solo la parte que hace solo falta. Solo la parte que hace falta. Exacto. En el blank space que tenemos ahí. Exacto. Y por eso le pregunto. <ríe> Pero en el llega, caso de llega. la clase, así era. Exacto, exacto. Ajá. Pero sé so, que también usted me decía en this case, pero que ajá, dependía. Ajá. Sí, sí, de, de hecho sí, re, cambiaría de acuerdo al, al sujeto, lo adaptaríamos la, la expresión la de acuerdo al sujeto. Parece. Exacto. Ajá. Nice. All right, very good. Creo que ahora sí ya se va. Sí, ya, me quedo, ya, ya voy problemas. a llegar otra vez. Porque había colapsado, Chivo. nunca me había pasado. Todas me salían mal. Me imagino, no, ya me imagino. No. Chévere, chévere. Okay. Muchas gracias. Elena. No, ya sabe, a la orden, María Elena. A pleasure for me. Thank you very much for actually asking the, the right questions here. And well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. I see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Marilena. Have a good night. Bye okay. bye. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you. All right. Bye bye.